Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Rekha, Assistant Professor of Commerce. Are you planning to join any courses under distance education or are you doing distance education course in any of the universities? Then definitely you should know about Distance Education Bureau. So watch my video till the end without skipping because each and every point which I am going to discuss in this video is very important. Before that, if you have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe and click bell button so that you get notification of my updates. In this video, I am sharing three things. First one is, what is Distance Education Bureau? Second one is, for the students who already registered in the universities which are not recognized by DEB UGC. And the last one is, how to check universities which is offering distance education is approved by Distance Education Bureau of University Grant Commission. Distance education occupies a special place in Indian higher education system and India has one of the largest distance education system in the world. We know that distance education or, or distance learning otherwise known as correspondence education is a education for students who are not able to physically present in a college isn't it so distance education provide an opportunity for upgradation of skills and qualifications till in the year 2012 any universities can provide distance education but after the undertaking of distance education by university grant commission there was many changes in India, all distance education is under the control of Distance Education Bureau. This Distance Education Bureau is a Bureau of University Grant Commission. And all regulatory functions of distance education are being undertaken by University Grant Commission. The main role of Distance Education Bureau is to make sure that each university should follow rules and to maintain a quality standard of education. So, Distance Education Bureau control the university which offer distance education. In 1985, Distance Education Council was responsible for open learning and distance education. Then this DEC was replaced by DEB in the year 2012. So, Distance Education Bureau is a part of Distance Education Council. Distance Education is provided by Central University, State University and Private University. Central Universities is recognized and approved by uh, UGC. So, it's very powerful and the boundary is in all over India. Then, for state and private universities, they cannot give distance education beyond or outside the boundaries. That is, this state and private universities, they can provide distance education only within territorial jurisdiction. This problem arises from 2012 onwards. Till 2012, candidates can join and pursue distance education from any universities. But after the formation of Distance Education Bureau in the year 2012, distance education learning can be done from only those universities which have the approval of DEB UGC. But still, distance education is offered by the universities which do not have approval. Such universities are still offering distance education courses. It's only because of the case in the High Court. They have taken a stay order from the High Court. So the case is still going on. There are many students who are doing distance education in the universities which do not have approval. So we can hope for the positive. Many of the students are not preferring their own states for distance education. They, they get admitted in other states. The only solution is to get equivalency certificate after completing the course. So relating to this issue, I will update the video in my channel as soon as possible. Each year, there will be changes for the approval of universities under Distance Education Bureau. Now, the admission for the year 2021 is going on. So, before taking an admission in a university, you have to know whether the university is approved by Distance Education Bureau. Let's have a look at the universities which have approval of Distance Education Bureau. Now, open Google Chrome and type ugc.ac.in slash deb slash link i have given in the description so when you give this a uh, home page of distance education bureau will open left side you can see distance education bureau is a bureau of university grant commission 
here we can view that recognition information of all the universities which is approved uh, it's given here that is each year's public notice is mentioned here before that let's check each tab first one is home page then next tab is related to uh, distance education in this page we can get information about what is distance education how and why uh, we need distance education then growth of odl system and the status regarding distance learning programs next one is odl system it means open and distance learning system so under this three types are given national open university state open university and directorate so by clicking each one you get number of universities under central state and private next one is development grant here we get information related to the format applying for development grants and uh, inviting the proposals next is notice board this is the area which we have to frequently check it each year's update regarding university's approval to conduct distance education is mentioned in this notice board otherwise you can check it in the recognition information which is given in the home page itself list of universities approved for each year is given some of you would have completed distance education in the previous year or at present some may be doing isn't it so you can check it by selecting the year which you got admitted i will show you how to check it you have to select the year which you got admitted and then click it here i am sharing the present data that is for the year 2021 data pdf link i have given in the description this table shows university grant commission recognition to the higher education institutes for the academic year 2019-20 onwards for programs through the open and distance learning mode understand the table first first column is serial number second column is state next column is name and category of higher education institutes so under this column the university which got approved will be mentioned next one is number of recognized programs it means number of courses under that university next one is duration of uh, period of recognition and the last column is name of the courses which is recommended for admission let's see how to check it in andhra pradesh acharya nagarjuna university is a state university with 46 courses and the recognition period is july 2019 till january 2020 only in the last column all the bachelor and master degree courses which comes under this 46 courses will be mentioned for each universities only some courses will be given approval so you have to select from that list now let's have a look at the state of tamil nadu in tamil nadu university of madras is recommended it's a state university number of courses recognized for distance education is 30 and the period of recognition is from july 2019 till 2022 23 then you can check the courses which is approved for admission next is anna university with the approval for three courses master of computer science mca and mba and a period from july 2019 till 2022-23 then comes tamil nadu open university with 80 courses for a period of july 2019 till 2022-23 there are many courses of a bachelor and master degree under this uh, university so you can check it next comes manon maniam sundaram university of tirunelveli with 30 approved courses and the period of recognition section it begins from july 2019 till january 2020 only next comes tamil university with 16 courses for a period of july 2019 till january 2020 only then comes tamil nadu physical education and sports university with two courses and uh, madurai kamaraj university with uh, 25 courses for a period of july 2019 till january 2020 section only and the last one in tamil nadu is periyar university with uh, 13 courses and it is for only the period of january 2020 let's have a look at the state of kerala 
first one is kerala university with uh, 26 courses approved uh, for a period of july 2019 till january 2020 only then comes calicut university same with 26 courses with a period of july 2019 till january 2020 only and the last one is kannur university with 12 courses for a period of july 2019 till january 2020 only like the same way you can check the status of all other universities of each states whether it is approved by distance education bureau under university grant commission the present data pdf of list of universities approved by distance education bureau ugc i have given in the description so you can download it from the description of this video so viewers before joining a distance education course under a particular university you have to know all these details first you have to know whether the university is approved by distance education bureau of ugc this information is for distance education courses and for regular courses how to check university and colleges is approved by university grant commission i have explained this topic in my previous video link i have given in this video description and also at the end of this video drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos as well and further if you have any more doubts you can follow my instagram and ask doubts and for latest updates you can join telegram group you can get the link from my description thanks for watching